not coming back. Uh, your boxer, would you just been knocked unconscious when he left to schedule his next bout? Friday's going to be my last day. So you've made up your mind? Yeah. My three days to change your mind. It was 42%. It was the same as well, every Maybe it would have gone higher than 42%. Maybe you kept it at 42%. <laughs> I have to get ready for wrap up. Okay. No, wait. It's all right. No, wait, no. Okay. All right. Yes. I. This I, can only be about Maggie. I want to ask her to move in with me. I see. Well, can I start by saying that you made a very wise decision in coming to me with this problem? It's not a problem. We'll see what I can do about that. How would you want to be asked? To move in with a guy? Yeah. I'd want the guy to say, will you marry me? Okay, well, let's take that one off the table for a moment. You know, it's much harder to break up with someone when you've moved in with them. That's the point. You'll have to get cartons. You've been no help at all. Since I'm never going to see you again after Friday, I'm can I see, see you? And you're not leaving. <laughs> well, we'll see after I tell you what I have to say. I don't know who told you that you're a bad guy, but someone did. Someone or something along the way convinced you of it, and it's just not true. I'm socially inept, and even I can see that. And since you think you're a bad guy, you do things you think a good guy would do. Like committing to someone you like, but maybe don't love. Sweet, smart, pretty, Midwestern girl. Maybe I'm wrong. I almost always am. Are you single? Men are often intimidated by my intelligence. No, seriously. Because you never asked me out. Caught you off guard, didn't I? Yeah. You did. You're wrong. I do want to commit to Maggie. It's what a good guy would do.